Working with date and time values is accomplished through methods and properties of the date time object. So let's just get a date, we'll get right now into a variable called today, and then we can pipe that to get member to see what we can do with it. Properties are typically used to extract a portion. So if we take today, follow it by a period to let PowerShell know that we want to access one of the members of this object, we can get day of week, uh, we can get the year, we can get the minute, and you notice I'm using tab completion there, I don't actually even have to type the entire member name. Methods are used typically to either convert this to different forms, so if we just look at the form that this is in, that's kind of the long date form, we can also do a uh, today dot to short date string, I believe, oops, it's a method, so you gotta follow it with the parentheses. That gives me the short date version. And the other thing you can do is add. So you've got all these different things to add. You'll notice there's no subtracts. Uh, there is a subtract, but you, when you do, you have to not only tell it how many to subtract, but what to subtract. Do you want to subtract days, hours, or anything? I'm going to show you an easier way. Today.addDays minus 90 gives you the date for 90 days ago. Because that returns another date time, I can follow it with another period and say, take that to a short date string for me. Short date string. And you can just line those methods up as so long as you're still working with a date time. So that provides you a way to do pretty much any kind of date time manipulation that you might need to do inside of a PowerShell script.